Hello, everybody. Welcome to your last lesson of topic five. This one is on symmetry. So our learning target, we will be able to identify different types of symmetry in two dimensional figures. We will describe the rotations and or reflections that carry a polygon onto itself. We will predict the effect of a, of a given rigid motion on a figure and we will identify types of symmetry in a figure. So our vocab that we want in our notes, first we've got something called reflectional symmetry. So a figure that maps onto itself when, is, when it is reflected over a line has reflectional symmetry. So what that could look like, just as an example. So this rectangle has reflectional symmetry. If I draw in a symmetry line, right there, the figure would map onto itself across this line. So all of this would map onto itself down here. Um, it has reflectional symmetry also if I draw a symmetry line right there this side would reflect onto itself over on this side. So that's called reflectional symmetry. We also have something called rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is a figure that maps onto itself when it is rotated about its center by an angle measuring less than 360 degrees has rotational symmetry. So if I think about another shape, I kind of want it to be a square. I don't know why. So there's a square. The center of the square is right here. As this square rotates about the center, when it rotates, let's say this vertex lands here, this vertex lands here, this would be a 90 degree rotation in the counterclockwise direction. Each time this rotates one time, we're mapped back to the same shape of a square. If it rotates again, it would be the square again. So a figure has rotational symmetry if it rotates about the center by an angle less than 360 and it maps back onto itself.